So of course, right wingers are all up in arms and freaking out because apparently, and I say apparently because there's no real way to prove this, but apparently Kim Jong Un has executed several high standing military officers for showing anti sentiments towards his father Kim Jong Il. And apparently this is a bad thing. Now mind you, in real dictatorships it's the common man who suffers. It's always the common man. Why should I feel bad about them executing military generals and people of high stature? Those are the kinds of people that should be held most accountable. Do I necessarily agree that they should be summarily executed? No. But the fact is, I would rather people of higher standing, uh, that have more influence, more political power, more economic power, be the ones that be executed as opposed to the common man, which never had anything to begin with. It's ridiculous to think that the poor should be the ones criminally persecuted or in any way punished when they have nothing, they have no, they make no difference either way. It's just bullying. It's just thuggery. It's just a way to push people around and feel better about yourself. So if they're getting upset about it, it only shows that in their deranged social Darwinist mind, the rich and the powerful are somehow excused from any traitorous activity, from any wrongdoing, and that whatever they do or don't do is always right because they are the powerful, because they are the elite. They think of themselves as deities, as gods, and that's just not the case. And this is a smack to their face. This is the cold hand of reality coming down against them. And like I said, if this story is true, I don't agree with the actions of Kim Jong Un executing people over what he believes to be some kind of anti Kim Jong Il stance or anti Kim Jong Un stance, but the fact is that it's still better because it's holding people accountable that are actually of power and of money and of influence, not just commoners who are working the fields or working in the factories or flipping burgers or something and they have to live their life in drudgery and turmoil anyway why should they have to deal with authoritarian regimes or authority in general so that's all I'm saying here it's not as bad when it happens to the rich because the rich are fucktards and the rich take advantage of every opportunity available to them and they can take advantage of every opportunity available to them the poor cannot do that and there is more to being poor than just not having money your environment dictates whether or not you are poor so no I'm not gonna feel bad about some dead generals you know but like I said this this is a maybe because I sincerely doubt it's anywhere as bad as they're making it out to be. Maybe one general died for doing something blatantly treasonous and now they're making it out like he's killing them in the hundreds because that's how western propaganda works. You know, they have to make out anyone that is not on board with their imperialism as these cartoon supervillains. So